is the main event of the night. 12 rounds of boxing for the WBC Championship of the World. Introducing, in the blue corner, fighting out of Catskill, New York, weighing 221 and one quarter pounds. He is undefeated in his professional career with 27 wins, no defeats, 25 KOs. He is the challenger, Mike Tyson. And in the red corner, formerly of Jamaica, now fighting out of Miami, Florida, weighing 218 and one half pounds. His professional record consists of 31 wins, four defeats, one draw, and 23 KOs. He is the WBC heavyweight champion of the world, Trevor Burbank. Burbick says it's imperative. He keeps his man in the middle of the ring. He says Tyson will not push me back like he's pushed other fighters back, and I'll push him back. And I think therein is another key to this fight, Ray. If Burbick can push Tyson back, easier said than done, but if he can, then he can be in the hunt. Well, what is, I feel it's imperative for both fighters to keep those hands hot. Both wearing black, Burbick with the high black stockings. Left hook, Tyson. What Burbick's trying to do, he's trying to overpower Mike Tyson. And he's abandoned in doing what he normally does best, and that is to use his whole body, to use those broad shoulders. I would not be surprised when these guys go down because they're throwing big shots, and both fighters are a little cold, a little stiff here. A little tight. Right hand, Tyson, and a left behind it. as he told us he would, trying to go to the uppercut so far ineffectively. Big right hand, Tyson. Tyson has to be patient as Larry stated, because he's fighting a guy that's been in the ring with top caliber fighters. So he knows how to uh, get a breathing, get that second win going. Another big left hook by Tyson. I mentioned this earlier, but Tyson's, Tyson's punches even sound different than most heavyweights. Another good left hand by Tyson. And a right behind it, and Burbick is rocked. Burbick in trouble here. Burbick just trying to get through the round. He's hurt, no question. That was a big, big round for Mike Tyson. Always coming forward, Tyson. And the punches are short because he's coming forward and harder to see. We have to remember that Trevor Burbick has never been hit by punches as hard as he's being hit in this fight. And you'd never know how a man is going to respond to that. Tyson is everything that people could have hoped for in that round. Trevor Burbick, I should point out, has been down twice. There's another big shot by Tyson. Burbick in a heap of trouble. Down he goes. The punches are coming in such a succession that uh, Burbick can't deal with them. They're short, powerful, devastating punches. to tie Mike Tyson up here, just kind of hang on and get the cobwebs out. Oh, another big right hand, and Burbick is in trouble again. 
Tyson is perpetual motion. And the reason he's so dangerous, bro, because he continues to throw those punches. One thing I've noticed in Tyson, he actually turns southpaw because he can knock you out with either hand. He, get, he has good leverage because he keeps his, ba his balance. He missed with that uppercut, but didn't miss by much. That was a right to the body and an uppercut He's to the head, and Burbick is down. This one is going to be over, I believe. It's over. That's all. And we have a new era in boxing. Let's go to the ring announcer. Chuck Hall will get the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mills Lane stops the bout. At two minutes, 35 seconds of the second round, the winner by a TKO and youngest and new. WBC heavyweight champion of the world, Michael Tyson. I refuse to get hurt. I refuse to get knocked down. I refuse to lose. There's no way in the world I was going to go out this ring walking. I had to be carried out. I, was, I had to be dead. There's no way I was going to leave this ring alive. I didn't it, it, looked, it looked early in the second round that he had already recognized your power and that he was starting to hold on and just survive even as early as that well i don't know about that if that was so that was his problem i was coming to destroy and win the heavyweight championship of the world which i'd done and i like to dedicate my fight to my great guardian custom auto and I'm, I'm sure he's up there and he's looking and he's talking to all the great fighters and saying his boy did it he's smiling that's right <laughs>